Hi, this is Dr. Frederick. I had a question from a student about how do we make this histogram in uh, StatCruncher. Uh, I'm just looking at a problem here, and this is identified as the correct answer. These are the data that are correctly represented this way in a histogram. And the student's question is simply, um, how do I make my histogram look like this? So we can make a histogram in uh, StatCruncher. We want to take the data, we'll copy it, and now we'll open StatCrunch. I'll probably call it StatCrunch, or I don't know why, but uh, and we're going to paste our data here. And then we'll say, what, it, what is this variable? It's price. Okay, so we have price. Do we have 50 data points? We'll just check before we, yes, we do. We're going to graph a histogram. And uh, so we're going to select our variable price. Uh, let's go back and look at at the histograms here. What we see is that our histogram has some bins in it. Uh, I don't, we don't need to count the bins right now, but we'll notice from 30 to 60 will help us figure out what our bin width is. And so here. The middle of this bin is 30. We go over two bins. The middle of that bin is 60. There's two bins between them, which means the bin width is 15. So 30, and this one would be 45, and then the midpoint here would be 60. That means the midpoint here is 15, and that means that the bin starts at 7.5. Okay, so we're going to start our bins at 7.5. with the bin width of 15. So we'll start at 7.5 and we'll go to 15, we'll have 15. And do we want uh, some values here? We want cost in dollars and frequency. I don't know why I keep losing this. Is that, is that it? Okay. Um, our x y is going to be cost in dollars. Our Y label is going to be frequency, and that is that it. That doesn't look right. Price next. Start bins at seven point five. Thank you, 15. All right, X is price. Y is frequency. Right. Now, does that look the same? I don't like the, where the placement is here. Uh, but I think that is the same shape. Okay, so what we notice here is that we have the same shape of the graph. And then the real question is, what can we do in uh, StatCrunch to change the values of the... Um, Of, the, of these values on the side by changing the axis values. In Excel it's very easy to do. I don't see a real option to do it here in StatCrunch. So um, there's probably a way to do it. But here's the idea. We have the same shape. We notice I made, I made this graph just a little while ago and it, and it made it with 30 and 60 and so forth. Normally in, in Excel, you would come down here and uh, click. Oh, here we go. All right, so the minimum is 7.5. The maximum is 142.5. We'll say tick marks is optional. Does that change anything? No. Nope. Here we'll make our maximum 14.
Okay, so that makes it look a little bit more. There must be some way to change where these go. clicking on this question mark it doesn't do anything for me well it's not important um, but it would be nice to, to have greater flexibility here I hope you see that that we were able to change the range here um, and then we get this this thing so I hope that answers your question if not uh, shoot me another question